Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Sunday, April 16th, 2017. And as promised, this is an update on my video from last night, uh, where I uploaded a prediction video for a transit of the International Space Station across the moon. So I went out, went over to Mount Monganui, and we set up before midnight, and at 12.08, we were eagerly waiting to see the transit across the moon. And I saw nothing. And unfortunately, there was some mix-up with Starry Night, or me, and for some reason, Starry Night was showing the transit across the moon, as we see in this image. I didn't see the transit, and when I got back home, I fired up Starry Night again and rechecked, and this is what we saw. We saw that the transit was actually about one degree below the moon. Now, because the International Space Station was actually in the shadow of the Earth at that time of night, just after midnight, meant that we couldn't see the space station as it was travelling across the sky. What we expected to see was a silhouette as it passed across in front of the moon. So we didn't see that. Now, I should have checked with other websites, such as transitfinder.com or calsky.com. I did check on Heavens Above, and the sky chart did seem to indicate that the International Space Station would travel across in front of the moon, as we see right here. But in fact, that wasn't the case. The end result was that we didn't see the transit. So while it was disappointing, it was in fact a good lesson about how accurate we have to be. We have to be in just the right place to see the transit of the International Space Station. It is a fairly narrow corridor that we're talking about. So hopefully we'll have better luck next time. But the good news is we did actually get some very good photos and video of the moon and Jupiter. So let's take a look at those now. I'll just step through these images of the moon. Some good close-ups there. You can see a lot of very good detail in those craters. This was filmed with a Nikon P900 camera. We didn't get to see the International Space Station, which was very disappointing, but we did get to see a good view of the Moon and Jupiter. So now I'm going to show you Jupiter, and you'll hear the live audio of when we were recording that. It's locked. Nah. Oh, that, should be, that should be good. Oh, there we go. Woohoo! So I'll just center that up, so I'll let it run across, nice and still. Okay. And that's at 1280. Okay. Can't even focus on So let's close out with some video of the moon. Uh, this was when I was setting up to try and capture that transit of the International Space Station, which we didn't see. Uh, but we can see some nice clear detail of the moon. Uh, it's nothing like looking at the video itself rather than the still images. It really seems to bring it alive. Now we were very lucky with the weather as it looked like the clouds were about to close in just as I was about to head off to Mount Monganui. But the sky was clear when I arrived over there and uh, we had pretty good viewing conditions as we can see from my video of Jupiter. Thank you for visiting my channel. Please be sure to subscribe. For further discussion, please check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.